Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, we're replaying some of our favorite moments and clips from Season 3. We also have a huge announcement, so be sure to check out this week's episode. On This Week in Vice, this is Part 2 of our review of the summer between Season 3 and 4 of Miami Vice. This week, we'll be covering July 13th to September 20th, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on August 16th, Northwest Flight 255, just moments after taking off from Detroit Metropolitan Airport, crashed, killing all six crew members, two people in automobiles near I-94, and 148 of the 149 passengers. A four-year-old girl was the only survivor of the crash that was the deadliest aviation disaster in American history at the time. On September 7th, Donald Harvey confessed and was indicted for the murder of 12 people while working at Marymount Hospital in London, Ohio. Dubbed the Angel of Death, Harvey killed terminally ill patients and said he wanted to, quote, ease their pain. He eventually admitted to killing over 80 people, some ill and others not, and was sentenced to 20 consecutive life sentences. In music, in this stretch, there are six different number one songs that would top the Billboard Hot 100. The songs include Shakedown by Bob Seger, I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For by U2, Who's That Girl by Madonna, and the cover song La Bamba from Los Lobos. But the biggest hit in the summer months was Alone by Hart. Although the song was originally written by Billy Steinberg and Tom Kelly, and even made an appearance in the sitcom Dreams, Hart's cover is the best version. From the album Bad Animals, the power ballad is the band's biggest hit, sitting on top of the Hot 100 for three weeks. This song is the best of the 80s, summed up in about four minutes. In movies, unlike music, there are only three movies that would win the box office in the summer of 1987. For most of the summer, Stakeout held the box office. Starring Richard Dreyfuss and Emilio Estevez, it's a great 80s movie and would even have a sequel aptly titled Another Stakeout. There is a Bond movie that will win for a few weeks, but neither of these movies are important. On July 17th, one of the most important sci-fi movies ever hits theaters. Starring Peter Weller and Nancy Allen is the all-time classic Robocop. The dystopian cyberpunk action movie is set in the crime-ridden futuristic city of Detroit and only a half-man, half-machine ultimate cop can restore the order of the city. This movie created an entire universe including two sequels, two animated shows, a video game, a television show, and a miniseries. Your move, creep. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.